Hello kids, are you excited to learn about the life cycle of a butterfly today? Let's start looking at the life cycle of a butterfly. First, what happens? A female butterfly goes and sits on top of a leaf and lays tiny eggs. These eggs can look different depending on the kind of butterfly. Can you see the little yellow eggs on the green leaf here? What is this? It's a caterpillar. You all know it from the book, the very hungry caterpillar. So the eggs hatch and out comes a caterpillar. Caterpillars love to eat leaves and get bigger really fast. They have multiple body segments, six true legs near the front, and usually several pairs of tiny leg-like things along their belly. Now what's that hanging on the branch of the tree? It's called a chrysalis. So after eating a lot, the caterpillar gets ready to change. It makes a special shell called a chrysalis to protect itself. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar turns into a beautiful butterfly. We wait and we wait and we wait. And then one day, what comes out? A beautiful butterfly. This entire process where the eggs hatch into caterpillars and the caterpillars turn into butterflies is called metamorphosis. Did you all know that there are more than 160,000 species of butterflies in the world? Isn't that a lot? This right here is a monarch butterfly. Monarch butterflies are poisonous. Do you know why? This is because during the caterpillar stage, they feed mainly on plants called milkweed which have toxins in them. This is the largest butterfly on our planet Earth. Mm. And do you know its name? It is called Queen Alexandra's Birdwing. Now, can anyone tell me what butterfly is this? This is a peacock butterfly. The name peacock comes from the large spots found on the butterfly's four wings. Don't they look like the ones you find on the peacock's feathers? Mm. Did you know that every country has its own special kind of butterflies? Just like how we see different kinds of birds and animals in different parts of the world, there are lots of different butterflies all around the world. Isn't that cool? Now tell me, what kind of butterflies do you often see in your neighborhood? Bye-bye, kids. See you in my next video.